40 years, industry leader, most of manufacturing in India were global, were all over the world, were very strong in Asia, the headquarters in our idea and in Israel, but everything we are doing, we are doing globally. The company that actually was a startup once and became industry leader in manufacturing, when we started to go to the market that's called retail, you know, we think and we work in spirit of startup. It's not like that I have uh, from the board the permission, okay, Romy, spend as much money as you want. You, you want to create a new path, new awareness, okay, go for it. Why establish company? No. In this territory, I actually forced to, to work on every day on budget like a startup. Okay, and startup thinking, I think that it's something that is very crucial. If you are a global company and you are going to new expansion and new path, you have to be very oriented, not only on your budget, but also according to what goals and what KPIs you can manage every quarter. This line in the middle, uh, it's left side, it's what Serene was in manufacturing before, and the right side, it's our solutions to the retail. Even that their storytelling and sales process can become much more efficient because when people, persons are, are going to buy a diamond, he's not buying on this specific spot, okay? He wants to make a little bit shopping. He wants to compare prices. He see different kinds of parameters. Every store has also another parameter. So it's kind of becoming very complicated. A lot of knowledge, a lot of digest in the evening. Okay, so how much, it's not only how much I want to spend, and actually, oh my God, different quality. Why? I mean, so many questions and so many hesitations. And for the salesperson to capture their, actually the potential customer, it's super, super, super important. And he also has to explain kind of high-tech technology. We have to implement HubSpot or Salesforce. We, we, can't, we can't go to retail market and I can't create this bus around the company that we are going to the new path without having some kind of CRM. You have to define and focus on B2B, you know, because when I'm talking like B2B, it's like B2B to C. I, I don't have like a one definition for that. How can I improve our solutions? What actually uh, salespeople want? I went a lot to mystery shopping. And I ask our salespeople to create for me a lot of documentation, how today processes are going in the retail store. So then I started to create content, and then also we started to understand who is our consumer for HubSpot. And I'm really thankful here for Marketing Envy because we did invest a lot of time on creating those personas, okay? And we started from Asian market because we knew that this market is more digital oriented. And I think that it's worked for us very well. And of course, create a content revolution. When you start something new, you have to be exposed to a lot, a lot, a lot of information. You have to digest by yourself. I have uh, my own PowerPoints of, uh, that actually is divided to content, to fashion, to AI. I, I even made a course from Finland on AI because our company is AI, so I wanted to understand what today are the possibilities of promoting AI and complicated AI. So you have to be inspired all the time from different categories. Don't look only on your own business. Try to look always wider what is going on in very technological uh, aspects, how in other companies actually are promoting themselves when they are based only on technology. So, okay, just in one word, you have to understand, this is what we are bringing to retail, okay? It's uh, digital solutions for new certifications. We tell everything about diamond, diamonds. We have for our systems around 70 million diamonds a year. So basically we know a lot. We investigate and we are scientists of diamonds inside and we see things very differently. But at the end, that's what I'm bringing to the salesperson okay, in the store. You have uh, very strongly to understand when you put the goals to your marketing team, when you put the goals together with the sales team, how you, every time that you even see it, you're still going according to your path and you have to convince each and every time why do I need certain things, especially when you're making new things for HubSpot. 
and I'm also start to be from 2020 very mandatory on that because I do like to measure and I do like to see what's working and what not. Implementation of HubSpot and building rebrand and building the whole new content strategy and actually separately to run everything from scratch in main in China. Building the fundamentals, okay, go, go strong, marketing automation, promote organic content based on brand values. I mean, when it takes time to make good content. So first of all, look at the company, what actually are core values, what you're going, what you believe you are, and start to collect from everyone as much as possible content. Talk to subsidiaries, talk to salespeople, talk to customer success people, talk to everyone, take, talk to manufacturer, and try to receive content first of all from everyone, and then structure this content from the beginning before you know which content you are going to provide more proactive from yourself, and of course, great creative team. I mean, guys, listen, even in technology and AI, you have to have great creative, and I'm going to show you a few cases. So, uh, finding a better character. I'm going a little faster and a couple of challenges that also I face until today. It's hard to manage all these digital assets and all the time to see what is working and what is not working, okay? So first of all, you do need a good supplier that you can trust their judgment. Listen to them. You have goals, you have your KPIs, but listen actually what they are providing you and where they tell me, come on, don't measure it right now. Give us another three or four months and really uh, ask for answers. I'm still learning how to work with HubSpot, but every day I'm looking at HubSpot, okay? Every day I'm looking what posts actually are working in my uh, content management and what are going with the leads and what is going everything. And I have also a marketing team. And in marketing team, you have to have a great separation between people which on what they actually are in charge of because I have content manager and I have people person who actually is about leads more and I have design thing and we all the time are looking okay, look at this design now I want 10 like this because I see it's working okay so this is what we are facing I'm not going to show you uh, actually the video that I wanted to show but you can make uh, YouTube in one uh, just something that I want to tell you about about this video that uh, in our industry, you know, like 300k is kind of exposure on YouTube. We made some kind of content that we already from the beginning received half million that people started to engage with us. And then we started to create it more and more. And I'm creating it more and more every day. I have international team, video, copywriting and design, graphic design. And we are thinking together once a week, I'm closing two hours in my Zoom, and we brainstorm, and we're going for content, we see where was a good engagement, where we have a good sharing, and then we start to prepare two months above which kind of content we are going to supply. One of the great successes with that we see that content in my opinion is kind of currency, because uh, it's, it's all the time kind of exchange. If you are good and strong currency, everyone wants to buy it. For my opinion, our great success, it's not only about HubSpot and what we're doing and the generation, that is, it's really great, but retailers asked, uh, ask us to provide for them our content, our videos, our e-guides, our e-blogs, uh, and another assets, and this is a huge success for us, because if before they actually didn't were aware about our company, now they want us to create for them more and more assets, that actually assist them in sales processes. So this is a, a huge thing for us. So um, if you ask me how actually I um, can conclude this first transitional year, I can say that our digital strategy requires a blend. Because we are an industry of high tech and technology, but we are high tech technology for beauty, for diamonds, for something that actually kind of a dream. We looked at our diamond, rough diamond, it's something that we are doing for 30 years and we made it a character and we started to play and to show life inside of it. This is for example just a cards of our uh, different holidays all over the world and people actually collect them and now I was asked to prepare some kind of book of collections around uh, the celebrations. Of course on the part of this, this is beauty, this is science. 
a lot, a lot of concerts, sponsored content, articles. We provide content every week, at least one blog a week. At le I think we're right now around 1,000 posts uh, on different kinds of channels. And also we, we continue to experiment. I mean, for example, right now it was a Christmas time. So I actually told the marketing game guys, uh, let, let's spend less, but after Christmas time, let's try to do something else. Let's try maybe to explain to salespeople, okay, you are not satisfied with your marketing right now because probably you didn't talk to Serene. So experiment, don't be afraid to experiment in creative because you can always measure which is working and which is not working. And that's I'm really thankful for HubSpot. So another thing like webinars, some are also actually mentioned it. I think that webinars is a great thing to try to explain what you are selling, but in more friendly way because people actually I see are collecting and after they ask us to uh, provide for them even written in, in word document what actually we're telling in the webinars because it helped them to also to adapt the technology and also to expand technology forward. Involve as much as possible everyone in your company. At the first time when I came to a Serene lab, I saw something like that in one of the machines. And uh, actually it was kind of butterfly inside. I asked one of the operators, I mean, where I, I a company? It's uh, people at our company, they're putting diamonds inside, rough or polished, whatever. And then machine is doing everything else. And I told them, listen, this is a butterfly? It's for me, yes, inside of the diamond. And literally people laughed at me and no, Rom, it's actually an inclusion. And I saw something very interesting. I mean, just a second. This is interesting. You have such different forms, so now people in India, in, in Israel, and in other subsidiaries, everyone is looking for me for interesting kind of shapes, interesting inclusions, like beauty marks, it's, it's less maybe valuable for diamonds. Suddenly it's a new storytelling. People want to communicate with you because you are sitting in headquarters somewhere, and you have a lot of people around the world that actually really want to, to feel that they, they're also valued. So involve them. Involve you, them in, in your marketing process. Ask them to communicate with you after an interesting customer success. Share the stories. Okay, they had a webinar. What questions actually they were asked? So after, try to take this, collect these questions and make messaging from those questions. So this is how we are working. And you can see, I mean, we have a different kinds of uh, communications with our audiences. We are digest all the time, okay guys, what is working, what is not working? Look at this content. Do you think it's, it's an it's interesting new path? And again, experiment, experiment, and experiment. And I can, I can tell you, for me, for example, when I'm looking at this chart, first time when actually it was presented for me, I was really surprised. Because what I'm thinking, like a person who coming from strategy and planning, a lot of creative, a lot of campaigns during my career. I thought maybe this one is, will, will work better than the first one. But what is the difference between this ebook and that ebook? But I see it's different. It's different CTR, it's different leads, it's different CPL. So learn from this. You have a lot, a lot of assets. You are working hard to provide and to create everything on this. Look at this again, and if it's worked well, Make it again in three months. It's not the easy to bring a new uh, in diversity of content and messaging, but you have to dare to do it. Because you never know which one will work. Okay, you can only learn during uh, time. And also, I mean, come on, people. We live in dynamic time. And what is good today, in two, three weeks, it will be uh, really unrelevant. Uh, being really oriented on, on the pains of your customers. I personally myself are going to the field and I'm talking to our customers and I'm trying to feel their pain. Uh, monitoring and rolling yourself presence on key platforms. I think that if you are in position of marketing, especially global marketing, even that you are only Israeli company from here, you are obligated to uh, be all the time on all platforms. And you have to have enough strong team that they will come with the ideas all the time and leverage those ideas. So my team, actually my, from my team here, and we have a lot of brainstorms and I all the time dig people, come on. Daily work is, we have always a lot. I mean, I will really have a lot, uh, but 
you have to stop once in two weeks and brainstorm with your own team all the time and then make it wider. So um, thank you very much. <laughs>